Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Quintesson Alicon. This was a surprise find at my Walmart today. I went out hunting during my lunch break, went into the Transformer aisle, and as usual, it was all Wave 1 Deluxes and Netflix Megatrons. And as I was leaving the store, I'm passing the Hot Wheels aisle, and there is a little end cap with Cyberverse figures and some Wave 2 Deluxes. So I Finally picked this guy up. I've been watching him on Amazon, and he just keeps going up in price with no release date. So I finally got him in hand and found him in the wild. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got the Alicon right here in robot mode. Transformers, Earthrise on the side of the box is some fantastic artwork as usual. I swear Hasbro has got to come out with an art book with all of these in it. On the back, you've got the Alicon in robot mode and creature mode. And on the side is more of that fantastic Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy ripped open out of the package and see if this gator's got some bite. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Alicon all open and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern figures, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this spear weapon, which looks pretty detailed. I like the spikes right there along the top. And this tail section right here. This is packaged separately. So with the Alicon, there is some assembly required. And to do this, you're going to flip this section out right here. You'll see that little slot on the back of the Alicon is this mushroom peg. So you're just going to attach that there. Make sure that is on secure and fold it along the Alicon's back. Now, on this tail section is a hidden weapon right here. So we'll just pull that out. That is a curved scimitar. So that is really cool. I love secret hidden weapons. Get up here. Now, taking a closer look at the Alicon, this guy is really cool looking. He is the spitting image of his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart that first appeared in 1986's Transformers the Movie. Taking a closer look, check out that head sculpt. I love that. That is awesome. He's got this little fin up on top of his head. It's kind of a rubbery plastic. Got these cool spikes along the shoulders. And they feel like a rubbery plastic, too. Great molded details all the way around. Great paint applications. He looks really, really good. Down here along the waist, more molded details. Along the legs, the knees. This guy is cool. And I like how the tail folds along the back. It's actually not as much as a backpack, but it's fairly streamlined, if you will, and very cartoon accurate. Now, as far as articulation goes for the guy, the head is on a ball joint. It can look up and down and not really do a full 360 because his head is sunk there in his chest or down into his shoulders. But still, 
it's got pretty decent mobility. And let's look at that face sculpt again. I love that, especially the eyes. That looks really, really cool. Now with the arms, arms can do a complete 360. They can go in and out. There is a elbow bend and a elbow rotation and wrist rotation. Along the waist, there is a waist rotation if you flip this flap up right here. The legs up and down, in and out. There is a knee bend and ankle tilt. So yeah, this guy's got some pretty decent articulation. Now let's get his weaponry. So we got the spear. We'll put that in his right hand. And take the scimitar and place in his left. So there we have the Earthrise Alicon all armed and ready for battle. And that looks pretty cool. I dig it. I like the extra added weapon right there. Now you can, though it doesn't look great, you can have him hold the spear in both hands. So just kind of manipulate it around a little bit. So you've got that going on. I do wish the spear was a little longer, but it's still a pose you can do if you so choose. Now let's get him transformed into his beast mode. Go ahead and get the weapons off. Actually, we need to attach the scimitar right back up inside the tail. There's a hole right there that this will peg into. Maybe. Okay, it's in. Now what you're going to do is take this back section and unpeg this. There we go. And you're going to rotate it around. So you've got this fin section facing out where the beast head is. Now you're going to just collapse this onto the Alicon's back. The head will actually collapse down into the chest. Make sure the head is straight. Fold that down and around. Rotate the legs around. You may got to make sure and flip that flap up. And then you're going to tab the tail section here into these slots along the chest. So peg those in. Now for the robot arms, you've got pegs here on the arms or tabs that are going to go into that slot right there. And do that on the other side. And there is beast mode. And it's, it's weird looking, but still pretty cool. I dig it. It's kind of G1 accurate. I think if I recall in the movie, the Alicons were a little bit squatter. So maybe you can bend the legs more and kind of give him that look there. But it's still, this is a weird looking guy. Posability, this jaw can open up so wide. Plus the upper jaw can open too. He's got a bite. He can grab a hold of a transformer and just rip him to shreds. I love the paint scheme there on the inside. Makes it look like he's got a tongue. The molded teeth detail look really cool. Actually, the paint applications all over this figure look awesome. Articulation for this guy, you got the jaw and you got the little beast arms right here that can go up and down and that's it. There's no elbow bend whatsoever, but these are on a rubbery style plastic. So there is a little bit of movement, but it's not posable movement, if that makes sense. So all in all, a pretty cool figure. I do not like how the arms, the robot arms are just blatant right there on the back. That, that is one drawback to the character. It just, or the figure rather, I don't like visible robot parts. Now you can take the spear and there's tabs right here that can match up with the slot on the spear. Tab that in. So there you have weapon storage on the back of the beast or the beast can hold the spear in his hand. So you've got that look going on. So that's pretty much it. You can't... He doesn't like to hold up or stand up too well. But there you go, guys. That is the Alicon in beast mode. A pretty cool looking figure. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Alicon. 
with Generation 1 Null, Cyberverse Null, Titans Return Null, and Generation Selects Exhaust. The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Quintesson Alicon is a really cool figure. This is a toy I've been waiting on since 1986. He looks so much like his cartoon counterpart, it's just amazing. Kudos to Hasbro. Originally, I thought I was going to be put off with this figure because of his simplistic transformation, but really the only things that bother me about him is the fact that the beast arms hang off his robot arms, and when he transforms into beast mode, you can see the robot arms hanging off the back. But other than that, this is a really cool figure that I can see lots of folks army building with. Though that may not be for me, because army building with a $20 figure can put a little damage on the old wallet. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Quintesson Alicon. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Alicon belong in your collection? This is one for us G1ers. Us fans of the original 1986 Transformers movie, this is Hasbro's love letter to us. I know I'm not the only one who has wanted a figure of an Alicon, and Hasbro pulled it off awesomely. This guy is great. Now, granted, he's kind of a upgraded, modified, one-step changer with his simplistic transformation, but he's still really, really cool and is going to look great on this shelf. So you see this guy, pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.